the episode. That's how you greet me. I'm going TM 101 cheesy and plus they got D2 on repeat. I'm with the love of my life for like three weeks because that's all I needed. She want to go on a trip or retreat, but I'm sorry I never retreated. I set the bar so high that you might as well leave it. I'm going undefeated. I've broken the system. Had to breach it. That's mission impossible. Mission completed. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Salute when you see me on I got the heart of a god and a genie. I want you to love me. I want you to need me. Uh. When I in this face is beating. Uh. I got to get back to the hood. I remember when I was the needy. Uh. Beat me up. Beat me up. Squeaky. Uh. She fell in love. Fell in love. Deeply. Deeply. Like what I say, they repeat me. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. look. Oh, all this money I be spending on babies. <laughs> First opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. fly partner and in this case what do they say in the nfl your best ability is often your availability and this is an extremely durable kid come out of ohio state carried the ball every time they even thought about running it wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games jk dobbins going to baltimore an absolute oh that's into a double team and it's intercepted Picked up by Kyle Fuller. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Well, this defense for the Ravens, much improved from week one. They were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season. Anytime you can hold a team to less than 10 points, your expectation of winning that game has to be sky high. In fact, you'd be absolutely stunned to come up with a loss in that one. Could you imagine going to the press conference and trying to explain that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On the option to give to Swift here. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. To throw is Perkins. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Seibert up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. James Prochet to return it. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Ravens. 
believe in offense set at the line for this next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 the score as they start first and 10. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Jackson to throw. Flush to his right. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Well, CD, you know, with receivers, we talk about their speed, great hands. It's tough to quantify elusiveness, but they say he has great elusiveness, and he showed it right there with a run after the catch. And I caught a quick glimpse of him before the ball was snapped, and there was something about his body language where you could tell early in this play, he wasn't just thinking first down. He was thinking end zone, and he got there. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll work this forward for about three in second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Now Perkins. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Williams. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Throwing is Perkins. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. DJ Shark there to make the grab. And the Lions have taken the lead. Cybert on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14 7 ball game. Kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. set at the line for this next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. 
And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, a run with Dobbins. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Open man is Duvernay. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, but frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing. Just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Now Justin Tucker. He has hit from 61 in his career. So he has the leg for this. They'll spot it at the 47. So call it a 57-yard attempt. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Perkins throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. To the outside, that's complete to Williams. Seven yards to pick up there. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 12-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A 
again, he'll drop to throw. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Back to throw. Perkins. And he's got it. Really nice gain on the completion. However, still third and goal that they face now. And that ball incomplete. Nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. Boy, such a good drive. You'd hate to have it end in three. Do you think about going for it? Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they've moved the ball so well should lead you to the decision that maybe we should go for it right here. Also, as a head coach, show some confidence in your team. Let them know you think they can go get it. On fourth down, Perkins. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Ravens come up big down at their own goal line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Jackson on first down. Flushed out right, and he'll just get rid of it. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And got his man complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Jackson will throw again. Escaping the pressure right. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They go play action with Jackson. Flush to his right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is going to get out of bounds, so they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Throwing is Jackson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And it's caught. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, his second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. Tucker with the extra point. And it's now 17-14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. 
as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. On first and 10, Perkins. He's going deep for Brown. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And the Ravens are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Throwing again on second and ten. Jackson eluding the pressure right. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? On third down, Jackson flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And unable to connect, incomplete. I'll give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. On the option to give to Swift here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. T.J. Hawkinson came into the NFL with big expectations. His big strides, they came in year two when his receptions jumped from 32 as a rookie to 67 last year. They expect those numbers to continue to go up, and they will when he continues to make catches like that. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. On first down, Perkins towards the end zone for Brown. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit! Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open! What a connection there for the touchdown. And that wound up traveling at even 58 yards in the air, according to Next Gen Stats. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. And they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Third and two, here's Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Here comes Dobbins on the toss right. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. J.K. Dobbins. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Ravens have once again taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth, and who's going to make the play? that changes that, that maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense. Pick it up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. To throw on second down. Perkins. There goes a deep ball. In zone. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Lions have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before. There he goes, left side. And all for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, 81 yards. And the Ravens on one play have taken the lead. Tucker with the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now the Georgia Southern man, this is Jarek McKinnon. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for the Lions. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now a play fake here on first down. Room to run past midfield. And finally, he is out of bounds, but not before taking it down near the 15. A big play there for Detroit. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. On the option to give to Swift here. And this carry terminated at the 8-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. Looking to throw on second down. Perkins escaping the pressure right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. DJ Chark with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Lions have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Cyber up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Set a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. 146 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with this four-point fourth-quarter lead. And the offense on third down today, they've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. Again, Dobbins trying the right side. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Still nine remaining on second down. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Here's a give to Dobbins. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now it's Jackson. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. 
Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get high. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. Eluding the pressure right. Throw across his body and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And the Lions will take over possession here up at the 44. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. To throw is Perkins. Flushed out right. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And these guys, sir, they're not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Off the play fake. Perkins. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he takes this one in for the Lions. Touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Lions might be headed to the win column for the first time in 2021 as they add on to their lead. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Mike Hughes, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. A quick throw there out to Williams. A gain of six there on first. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now Perkins. He's going deep for Brown. He's got a man complete. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Throwing is Perkins. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And the Ravens are right back in this football game. And now with that interception, you feel like we got a ball game again. Remember, two-score contest and still time left here in the fourth. And in the old days, not too long gone either. Throwing the ball here would have been an absolute no-no. But the way the game's played now, throwing it makes sense. You just have to be careful when you put... And got his man complete. 20. And all touchdown with Sean Bateman with his first career NFL touchdown and the Ravens have made it a one score game again here in the fourth throwing Jackson 
escaping the pressure right. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They've got the lead by three, late stages of the game. What's the message here? Just hang on to the football. Is it that simple? That's exactly right, because balls and And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Perkins. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. This game, it's been defensively oriented on both sides. So I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. That's Anytime right. we have that's a defensive right. battle. But that, as you said, it stands to reason that's the way the game tilted. Someone had to make a big play. And the way the defenses were dominating, that's exactly what we got. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll look to throw. Finding some room at midfield. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week in practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Now Dobbins again on second down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Baltimore, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the Week 1 defeat as they move to 2-1. and one. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Mile High to take on the Broncos. Meanwhile, for the Lions... 
The early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at Soldier Field with the Chicago Bears. Me and they speak 